Algebra 2, Lesson 22, Analyzing Discrete and Continuous Functions. This is basically, a lot of this is just looking at graphs. Okay. Um, a relation pairs input values. Uh, X from the domain with output values Y from the range. We've talked about X and Y values. We've talked about input output. We've talked about domain and range. A function is a specific type of relation where every value in a domain or every X value is matched to only one value in the range or only one Y value. Right? We're familiar with that. Okay. A continuous function is a function with a graph that has no gaps has no jumps, has no asymptotes. Asymptotes are effectively um, where the graph um, shoots straight up or straight to the side, right, and it reaches an extreme, okay? It reaches a vertical or horizontal line. That's our asymptote, our vertical or, hor or horizontal line. Sometimes they can be, you know, diagonal or just however they might be, but... Um, but it's a function that doesn't have any of these gaps, jumps, or asymptotes. Any function that has gaps, jumps, or asymptotes is considered discontinuous, meaning that it's broken. Okay? Um, so that's a discontinuous function. A discrete function is a very specific type of discontinuous function made up of separate, disconnected points. So basically, if I just have individual points on a graph, that's a discrete function. Okay, so um, all discrete functions are discontinuous. Not all discontinuous. Okay. All right. So here I want you to see an example of continuous functions. Uh, with this top left here, it has no breaks. Right? It's a smooth line all the way through. Okay, same way here, right? Just go straight on through, doesn't jump, doesn't break, isn't cut off, right? Anything like that. But what we find down here are discontinuous functions. Um, and this is, gives you a really good example of a, uh, here on the bottom left, of a function with an asymptote. You'll notice that, that as these lines approach these extremes, I actually have my asymptotes are here and here. Okay, those are those lines where they start to reach an extreme. And these two lines, this function is broken up. It's disconnected. It's discontinuous. Okay? Can we follow that? Okay, over here is a really good picture of a discontinuous function because it, you know, it starts and then it stops. Starts and stops. Starts and stops. Starts and stops. Right? It's a function that's broken up. Okay, so a discrete function looks like this, and we could, I mean, we could add more points to it, and, but it's just individual points that are not connected at all. Okay, that's a discontinuous, or sorry, a discrete function. All right. So discontinuous functions have specific places where they are discontinuous at. All right. Um, here on graph one, you'll see that this section, you know, it starts, it's included here, but it's not continuous. All right. This does not include. This is still a function, by the way, because a vertical line doesn't actually touch that graph more than once because this position right here is not included. You follow me? So it's a, it's a function, right, because it passes the vertical line test, but it's discontinuous, meaning that it's not connected. Okay? All right? Here, graph 2 is a discontinuous function. Graph 3 is a discontinuous function. Graph 4 is a discontinuous function. Now, if this had been filled in right here, that would not be a function. This would not pass the vertical line test. Okay, if that had been filled in. So if I see where they kind of overlap each other, right, if I ever see two solid dots, it's going to be a relation where one is over the top of the other. 
But if one is open and one is closed, right, it can still be a function. All right? So the point where it breaks is called our point of discontinuity. Okay, our best pictures are uh, are here. Uh, there's a good point of discontinuity. There's a good point. Okay, a point of discontinuity is the point at which the graph of the relation or function is not connected. A graph can be discontinuous at a line and therefore be discontinuous but have no individual point of discontinuity. Um, that is what we see here with graph number two. It doesn't have a point of discontinuity. It actually has a line of discontinuity. Okay? It gets disconnected at that line. And that blue line that you see right there, or the dotted line that was there before I drew over it, um, that is what we call an asymptote. All right, you follow everything up to this point? Okay. All right. Uh, the vertical line test that's been mentioned can still be used in a continuous or discontinuous or even a discrete relation to determine if that relation is a function. A discontinuous relation can pass a vertical line test even at a point of discontinuity. And that probably should say function, but recall that to pass the vertical line test, any vertical line can only intersect the graph at one point. So if I find even just a point where it does not pass the vertical line test, it is a relation and not a function. Okay, so let's look at some questions. Okay, um, we saw some of this earlier. Um, this says, what is the range of the discrete function? A range refers to which values, x or y? Okay, it refers just to the y values. So what are my y values listed here from least to greatest? Okay. Neg okay, but we don't have to include negative 5 more than once, right? So just negative 8, negative 5, and 7. So A would be my answer here. That would give me my, uh, my range. Okay, so remember what domain means. Domain is my X values. Range is my Y values. Okay, and be able to separate those things. Okay, number three. At which of the given values is the graph discontinuous? Now, notice that in my answer set, we're talking about x equals. So at what x value is my graph broken at? Okay, at x equals 6. Okay, this, this x value right here is where the graph breaks. Okay, now they could also ask, you know, what was the y value? Okay, they... they may not just be an x value. Okay, in this case it is. Okay. All right, let's look at this. Determine if the graph is continuous or discontinuous. All right, let's deal with that first. Is it continuous or discontinuous? It's continuous. It's continuous. Good. Um, is it a function? Yes. Yes, I, I know that it looks like, you know, hey, this is getting really close to being a vertical line, but it's still making slow progress to the right and to the left, okay? It's not straight up and down, okay? It may look really close to it, but if we zoomed in, it, we would see that it's not. So it, does it pass the vertical line test? Yes, so it is a continuous function. Now we need to determine uh, what is the domain and what is the range, okay? So... What I wish they did with this is that I wish they went ahead and they put arrows on it so you can see that the function continues to go on and on to the left and right, continues to go up and down, okay? So my domain is my x values, right? So how far to the left is this graph going to go? It keeps on going forever, right? So would it, given... Given an infinite amount of time, would it eventually cover all x values to the left? Would it eventually cover all x values to the right? So we would say that the domain is all real numbers, correct? All right, it's a little bit easier to see with my range, though, right? Range is my y values. Is it going to continue to go up? Is it going to continue to go down? All right, so my range is also what? All real values or all real numbers. So it's a... You'll notice that some of these look really, really similar to each other and how they're worded. Okay, so be careful if you see this question on a test. 
right? That you pick out all parts. We want a continuous function. Notice that B and C are both continuous functions. All right, we want all real numbers, all real numbers. Okay, so we want B as an answer. Okay, don't pick the first one that says continuous function. Don't pick the first one that says all real numbers, all real numbers, because a lot of people pick A instead of B because they see all real numbers, all real numbers. They see continuous. They don't see the difference between relation and function. Okay, you see this question on a test. I've had people raise my hand and say, Mr. Wilcox, uh, there's two of these that are the exact same answer. They're not. They're just not looking close enough. Okay? Make sure that that doesn't happen to you. Okay, let's look at this one. Determine if the graph is continuous, discontinuous, or discrete. That's as much time, I think, as what we've got. This one, uh, just so I can say this as you're on your way out, this is a continuous function. Uh, the domain is all real values, but the y is y equals negative 3. It is only negative 3. Okay, it's not going up or down, so it's just, that's it. That's your only domain. Okay. All right, we'll see you guys later.